The Riley and Kimmy Show in Melbourne, Florida at the Melbourne Toy and Comic Con. And we have the pleasure, over in the Artist Alley section, right next to the stage, we're right next to a celebrity. You know what's kind of cool? Stage, <laughs> celebrity, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chad Thomas is with us. Now, I'm going to, one of our previous interviews, not video, but previous podcasts, you identified yourself as a cartoonist when I asked artist, illustrator, and you said cartoonist. I like cartoonists. I feel like it's, I, I don't know, I feel like it's real family friendly, real all ages. I feel like I'm more cartoony than I am, you know, but I, I do illustration. I do comics. I do it all, but I like cartoonists. I kind of like to stick with that. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles you love. <laughs> oh man, yeah, absolutely. You know, as you can see from my table and my sign, yeah, I like the turtles. So I, I don't want to put you on the spot. It's probably an obvious question. Yeah, you fine. don't get tired of the turtles? Uh, no, I mean, like every now and then it's nice to have a break to do something different, right. but no, I love drawing the turtles. Okay. So it's really nice when, you know, to have kids come over and like, I'll do head sketches and stuff like that. Like, that's what I, that's what I want to do. No. So, uh, I, no, I don't get tired of them. Okay. It's, it, but like I said, it's nice to be able to break away, do some different things every now and then. Well, I noticed your table companion, Rob Gilry, is actually yeah. sketching on actual, it looks like work for a comic oh, yeah, project. he's working right now. Are he's, you doing he's this? Doing chew. No, I didn't bring any work with me this weekend. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't drag it along. I have before. I've gone to shows and dragged oh. some stuff along to ink before, but no, this weekend I am, I'm just kind of hanging out and, you know, yeah. Enjoying yourself. Enjoying myself, yes. Okay. Certainly. I, I think I saw you do that in an Orlando show earlier oh, yeah. this year. You were actually working on a project. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that at Conjure. I was definitely bringing some work along with me because I was slammed under some deadlines around then. So and That's why we did. I didn't do the video interview. You didn't tell me not to. It's like <laughs> I knew. I was like, you know, he's kind of looking a little busy there. I better leave him alone, you know. And, and I don't know how you or Rob can actually do the art in an environment like this. Did, did it take a while to learn to do that? Well, I mean, it's it's not too bad to like ink and do cleanups and stuff like that. Like I can do that when I'm out and about. It's hard to like pencil a page and actually kind of work through like some writing and make sure like that, that's hard to do on the road. I can't do that. But it, it, taking some inks along with me, that I can do. That's a little bit easier. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not too bad. Not too bad yeah. doing it at all. Now, how long have you been with the Turtles? Uh, I actually started drawing Turtles, doing a cover for them, and then that issue about three years ago this month. Wow. Um, is when I started on New Animated Adventures number seven, and then I was kind of off and on, but mostly on with that book all until it ended on issue 24, and then they rebooted it to Amazing Adventures, and I did that all the way up until issue 14. So I've been doing it for three years just wow. consistently. It's been awesome. Do you, yeah. Do you still find time to draw pleasure at all? It's hard. Uh, no, not as much as as I'd like. I need to be better about it. I, I say this a lot, and 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 when any time I'm talking to somebody in an interview, I'm like, no, I don't draw for pleasure as much as I, I need to. But I I take on a ton of different jobs and some spot illustration jobs, and I'll take on a commission every now and then. So I get a lot of drawing done that's not just the turtles. And then anytime, you know, something, like I'm enjoying something, I'll you'll, usually on my pages or there's some sketch paper next to me that are just kind of quickly, quickly jotted down in between while I'm doing pages that I, you know, I'm like, oh, I feel like drawing Spider-Man real quick. Okay. I'll draw Spider-Man ahead and then get back to Turtles or something like that. Yeah. Is there a favorite non-Ninja Turtle character? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah. Non non turtle character that uh, Marvel, that you just like to Marvel Comics. It's Spider Man. I'll, I'll draw Spider Man, Spider Man heads, different Spider Man eyes, all all day. Like so, there's there's pages where you can see in the margins just different eyes okay. of Spider Man, just trying them out. So they're fun. So, when what was the first thing that you realized that this is it? This is what I can do, probably, yeah, or wanted to do. I know I've heard like uh, Bruce Tim talking about. He was sitting in front of the filmation cartoons, and he's like looking down at a piece of paper, and he goes, "I can kind of do this." I, I remember. I don't know when it was that I can do it. I know when I wanted to do it. I read Archie Ninja Turtle comics when I was a kid, and I was like, "Man, I, I this is what I want to do." And this is when I was like eight. So I, I just wanted to draw comics and cartoons and these crazy characters, whether it be Turtles or uh, Spider-Man and stuff like that. And so I just kind of pursued it and just kind of went for it. And I really kind of got very lucky with, with my, my lot in life and getting to do what I want to do. So, yeah. Anybody else in the family have the skills? Um, hope. I, I don't know. I, m my wife is not an artist. My son... Uh, he's creative, but he doesn't really draw too much. My daughter's too, so she oh. likes to just scribble with crayons. Right. But we'll see. There could be something there. I'll compare my art with hers right yeah. now. <laughs> She'll win. I guarantee it. All right. <laughs> um, 
any tip for somebody who's actually trying to start out or wanting to go into the comic book cartoon world or uh, comic strips I mean I assume it's you got to draw every day yeah uh, I mean that that's it I mean it's it's so it's such a cliche to say that when somebody asks you that question but it really is true you need to be drawing every single day and you need to be working on stuff you love and uh, and there's gonna be days when you don't like anything you draw and it just sucks and it's ugly and you just want to rip it up but those are the days that you push through and you find you you get better so yeah draw every day it, it's it's the thing that you're gonna hear all the time but it's it's true you okay. got to draw all the time yeah as practice I, practice as I let you get back to the fans here where will you be next uh, is there an upcoming event in the 2016 um, time frame? 2017? No, uh, for for folk in this area, I'm going to be doing a Jekyll Island Comic Con, just a very small. Uh, I think it's a two-day show in, in December. In December in yep. Jekyll Island, so I'm going to be up and doing that one pretty soon. All so right. yeah, looking That'll forward to it. Yeah, yeah it'll be a chance to maybe uh, thaw out a little bit for you. You know, maybe, maybe a little bit. A little I don't bit. know. I'm in Texas, so it's it's gonna it's not too Come cold. Come on, right? you get a little cold there. Come on, December. I hope so. I hope we get a little cold there. I'm ready for it too. We don't like cold. <laughs> no, that's why. We're in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, Chad, thank you for being on the Riley and thank Kimmy you, show, friend. and I hope you'll come back on. I, I have an open mic for you anytime. Thank you. I'd be I'd be glad to. That'd okay. be great. Thank yeah. You. Thanks, guys.